Xbox Game Pass has plenty of big name games on the cards for 2024. So let's not hang around because I'ma fill you in on absolutely everything confirmed on Xbox Game Pass in 2024, at least so far. Let's dive in. Close to the Sun is probably not a game you'd recommend Icarus for obvious reasons, but this walking puzzler has been described as Bioshock without the combat. Not a bad way to kick off Game Pass in 2024. The title pretty much sums this one up. Hell Let Loose is essentially a hardcore World War II death simulator featuring 100 player lobbies to get yourself shot in. You'll probably want to get used to being face down in mud. If you fancy an Assassin's Creed campaign that lasts longer than watching six seasons of Vikings, and honestly that's true, then you'll be happy to know that the Norse-themed Assassin's Creed Valhalla has got you covered. The whimsical adventure of Figment lets players explore the human mind as a grumpy sword-swinging sass master. Figment is a relatively short puzzler with awesome musical elements thrown into the mixer. Here, a big fat dinger or two in the arcadey yet surprisingly immersive Super Mega Baseball 4. Enjoy the thrill of pitching a fastball headshot to those pesky bats you've just had enough of, catching a high-flying ball deep in the field, or slugging a homer for the win. Don't be a downer on January 11th when We Happy Few hits Game Pass, because the pilled up happy chappies of this psychedelic adventure through a retro futuristic 90s 60s England just might not like it. Putting the fun back into deadly viruses on January 16th is <coughs> Resident Evil 2. Honestly, I could big up Resi 2 Remake for hours, but instead I'll just tell you to straight up play it. You won't regret it. There are those that pack their bags for the next grand adventure, and then there are those who remain. The sleepy town of Dormont has been shrouded in darkness and dangers. It's best you stay in the light if you hope to unravel the mystery and survive this one. Who'd have guessed how much chaos a sentient vegetable could whip up, but here we are in Turnip Boy Robs a Bank. I'm thinking you'd want to be quick with your heist, because if you ask me, turnips aren't exactly known for their long shelf life. Have you grown tired of simply catching wild monsters and training them to be the best in battle? Well, Pal World shakes things up on January 19th, when the monster collecting gameplay loop injects guns into it. The creator of Pokemon once said that the concept for the game came from his love of catching bugs as a kid, so I'd hate to think where Palworld's inspiration stems from. Hop to it because the fast-paced procedurally generated Temples of Phantom Abyss have gotten even more golden with the arrival of version 1.0 January 25th. Look after your little speed leggies by avoiding hidden traps, leaping over bottomless pits, if you hope to bag one of those fancy shiny relics. Persona 3 is glamming up for modern consoles in Persona 3 Reload. If you haven't played the original version of Persona 3, then you're in for a treat. The dark and surprisingly disturbing JRPG lands on Game Pass February 2nd. Too many cooks won't spoil the broth in the case of Plate Up. Team up with friends to cook delish meals and serve them to your little blobby customers in the name of building your culinary kingdom. Hit the road as a mother-daughter duo to unearth the long-forgotten family history in Open Roads. It may be one of those not about the destination but the journey types of narratives, but you've got to admit that the art style in Open Roads is breathtaking. Farming often looks like it would be quite a physically demanding job, so let a 15-foot mechanized suit do all the heavy lifting for you. Lightyear Frontier provides a planet full of alien soil for you and your friends to sow your seed and build a life far, far away. War is brewing between nations and it looks likely to kick off April 24th. Sounds like a good day for a hero, or maybe even a hundred of them, when JRPG Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes comes to Game Pass. Fancy a city builder with a side of dysentery? Mana Lords will sort you right out. This historic strategy builder will let you experience the life of a medieval lord as you grow your village from sticks and stones to a major city. Just how many immortal beings does it take to kill a god? Apparently 33 immortals. Get stuck into the pick up and raid gameplay loop to survive waves of monsters, big bad bosses, and god themselves in an impressive and oddly specific 33 player co-op experience. 
trading empires for mythos the definitive edition of the real-time strategy hit age of mythology retold is making its way to pc game pass at least now you'd know who'd win in a fight between odin amun ra and zeus i heard a rumor that souls games give you crabs oh no i meant to say there's a new souls game where you play as a crab another crab's treasure follows hermit crab krill on his journey to reclaim his shell and darling, Souls games are better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Please don't sue me, Disney. <laughs> if we don't get Vin Diesel on a dinosaur in 2024, we riot, okay? Arc 2 is TBD right now, but here's hoping Studio Wildcard launched their dinosaur-filled survival experience this year so Vinny D can preach the importance of family in Arc 2. Obsidian has a great track record when making quality first-party Xbox games with Grounded and Pentiment in the books, and now Avowed looks to spoil us with an RPG full of swords, spells, and monsters. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a groundskeeper for those timely estates seen in Bridgerton, Pride and Prejudice, and the like? Botany Manor tasks its players with plant-based puzzles whilst exploring a 19th century English manor. Step into the western boots of Clementine McKinney to indulge in plenty of robot farming, base building, and mech combat in Bounty Star. It's 2024 and it's clear that we're never gonna tire of retro arcade cabinet ninja games, so go toe to toe with an evil cyber genetic army to save your sister. Well, not your actual IRL sister, I'm sure she's fine, but m maybe you should give her a call. The very SE titled Cities Skylines 2 is already good to go for PC Game Pass subscribers, but the hit city builder will eventually come to console and I'm sure 2024 will be the year for it. Wakey wakey, the critically acclaimed sci-fi tabletop RPG Citizen Sleeper 2 Starwood Vector will hopefully make the jump to Game Pass this year. Its predecessor grabbed plenty of good press, so keep your eye out for this one. Jeez, Commando's Origin has definitely come a long way since I played Commando's 2 on the Game Boy Advance. Stealth however you like through a World War II campaign packed full of real-time strategy action. When I looked up Dead Static Drive for this video, the first thing I saw was Grand Theft Cthulhu, and it made me chuckle because it genuinely gives me that vibe. Steal a car and hit the road in a post-apocalyptic world full of big beasties in this survival horror adventure. If you're planning a 2024 visit to Hintenburg, then you best pack your fanciest blade to explore the tourist hotspots filled with magic and monsters. Dungeons of Hintenburg mixes its combat with puzzles and befriending the locals and their dog. Stealth, shadows, and murder are the lifeblood of this fast-paced platformer, so best let the shadows mold you into the deadly assassin in Ereban Shadow Legacy. Join humanity's last stand against an army of the old gods in the action-adventure RPG Flintlock The Siege at Dawn when it hopefully, Flintlock's crossed, lands on Game Pass in 2024. I really can't wait to play this flocking game. These flocks are just so cute. For example, look at this guy getting flocked. <laughs> Those critters just love being flocked. Well, there's good vibes of plenty to look forward to in Flock. I've been thinking about shopping around for my healthcare appointments because my clinic takes ages to schedule a routine appointment. Depending on how well you manage your interstellar hospital, I may sign up for Galactica. Set your own pace as a magical courier to transport lost souls from the land of the living to the world of the dead. Hop on your ghost bike to explore the stylized semi-open world of Freehub City. I had a big fat smile on my face when I first saw Harmonium the Musical. This narrative musical adventure follows an energetic 10 year old who became deaf at a young age. So get ready with Melody as she creates music through interactive sign language. The masterfully handcrafted narrative of Harold Halibut is set to arrive on Game Pass in 2024. Fast forward to the retro future where Harold searches for the meaning of home aboard an arc-like spaceship submerged in an alien ocean. At some point, we're bound to get Hollow Knight Silk Song, right? It feels like we've been waiting forever for a Hollow Knight sequel, but don't fret. Silk Song is cooking and it'll arrive on Game Pass sometime in 2024. Fingers crossed. 
Now, there's no official timeline on this yet, but you've got to be excited for the inevitable flood of Activision Blizzard games that could make their way to Game Pass in 2024. Got a specific ActiBlizz game in mind? Let us know in the comments. Stray walked on Xbox so Little Kitty Big City could run straight into Game Pass. If you're feline adventurous, then take your furry toe beans out for a stroll through a big city full of new friends, fun, and cat-like chaos. Crack on with your very own best witch cookbook in Magical Delicacy, a wholesome pixel cooking game where young witch Flora brings her recipes to a new town full of friendly customers. Jet set across the globe from the comfort of your living room in the next iteration of Microsoft Flight Simulator. 2024 promises more planes, airports and activities, and the usual limitless skies to get lost in. Or, you know, just fly over your house like us normies do. Sequel to 2021's award-winning Genesis Noir, the detective puzzles of Mr. No Man are back in the multiversal Nirvana Noir. When a bang bigger than the Big Bang threatens reality, put your detective hat on and uncover the mystery. I've said this before, but did you know that pigeons were domesticated pets once upon a time? Well, it seems like time has run out for our peaceful coexistence because the pigeons are full of poop, angry, and ready to wreak havoc. You've probably heard of Replaced at this point, as its development schedule has taken a fair while, but this 2.5D sci-fi action platformer set within a cyberpunk 1980s has got to launch at some point this year, and please, please give it to us in 2024, because it's gorgeous. Another alternate 80s sci-fi Game Pass edition to keep your eye on is Routine. This first-person horror takes place on an abandoned lunar base. Well, almost abandoned. You're there, and so is this big, scary murder bot. We've seen our fair share of jaw-dropping Hellblade 2 trailers at this point, and the excitement for the next chapter in Senua's Saga is building. Now, we posted this video before the developer direct, but hopefully it can give us a firm release date window for this one. The uncanny RPG adventure She Dreams Elsewhere takes a look in the mirror to confront nightmares keeping a comatose woman from waking up, encounter a cast of charming characters and get stuck into turn-based combat throughout an emotional narrative. Sopa proves the fact that a really good soup is enough to transport you into a magical Ghibli-inspired world. Experience an immersive and deeply emotional family narrative that explores the things that we pass along from generation to generation. I can feel it! We're getting closer and closer to the gritty FPS action of Stalker 2. Navigate your way through the deadly Chernobyl exclusion zone when it hits Game Pass at some point in the first quarter of 2024. Stranded aboard an oil rig some way off the coast of Scotland, Still Wakes the Deep is one of those edgy -sea horror games that looks great while simultaneously causing premature expulsion from your backside, and is definitely one I'm keeping a close eye on this year. Taking the T out of TBD and shifting its rigid shape into a young teen forever stuck in the famous T pose, Do a T is a humorous episodic adventure that looks like it's going to charm the absolute socks off 2024. Humanity's last hope for survival stands at the brink of collapse with monsters lurking around every corner. From the minds behind the Banner Saga comes Stoic's next action adventure, Towerborn. Vapor World Over the Mind is serving a Lies of P aesthetic from a new perspective. Battle increasingly difficult bosses in a dreamlike world ruled by machines. Way to the Woods looks beautiful. Like, look at this cute deer and its little baby fawn. Use the gifted power of light to guide the duo on a journey through an abandoned man-made world as they make their way back home. Well, that's everything confirmed for Game Pass in 2024 so far. Be sure to make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with Xbox Game Pass updates as they come in, and let us know in the comments below what you're most excited about this year. As for now, I've been Craig, and all that's left to say is bye-bye for now. Cheerio!